Right, K1 filter. Quite simple. One litre pot bottle. All for the airline to go in. Holes drilled around the bottom for the water to go in. Some glass marbles in the bottom to see, keep it weighted down. The K1 is there. That's probably just under half a dry bottle full and that makes basically fills it up once it starts rotating I've got holes near the top on the same side as where the air goes in so that it creates a, a current which makes a K1 spin that's something that I've found works better than just putting any old holes around the top and there's an hole in the very top just so it vents any excess air off that doesn't come out of uh, the holes there and basically you get uh, a very good rotation very quickly as well sometimes when these are set up the K1 doesn't um, go um, buoyancy neutral straight away it does tend to float quite a lot but with this method it seems to start rotating pretty quick probably in you know 10-15 minutes which is unusual really it usually takes a day or two but uh, anyway that's that's how it is and uh, they work great I changed the design a few times and I might change this one a little bit. What I'm thinking of doing is where the top is, uh, putting a little um, uplift tube there to concentrate the water flow uh, upwards because I'm a little bit concerned that the water is not, that the K1's rotating but it's not with fresh water if you see what I mean. I need to make sure that the air bubbles that are going up actually pushes water out of the top so that might want ultimately um, alter a little bit. But it seemed to work great. Okay, thank you very much.